Okay, in this video we are going to talk about something called operations with functions. So, the first operation we're going to talk about is, make sure I'm writing on the little board, the sum of f and g. That says q. Okay, much better. So the sum of f and g, I've got one function f of x, I've got another function g of x, and I want to add them together. So you'll see that written as s plus g, and then separate brackets x equals f of x plus g of x. So let's do an example and talk about what that means. So if I had a question and it said, that f of x was 5x minus 10. That would just be a linear function, right? A straight line. The power on, or the exponent on x is just 1. And then I had a g of x is x minus 2, another linear function. The highest power on x in this case is 1. I want to find s plus g of x and I want to figure out what that is. So, our formula says that when we've got f plus g of x, that's just f of x plus g of x. So, take the two functions and add them together. So that's what we're going to do right now. We've got 5x minus 10 plus x minus 2 in this case, I can just drop the brackets. If this was a negative sign between, if we were doing the difference of two sums, then the negative would have to be distributed into the brackets, and we would have 5x minus 10 minus x. Negative times negative is positive plus 2. But it's not minus, it's plus. So that's the same as 5x minus 10 plus x minus 2. So. We've got some like terms here that we can group together. So I've got a term with x to the power of 1 and another one. So I've got 5x plus another x. That would just be 6x. Got minus 10 here, minus 2. Negative 10 minus 2 would just be negative 12. And that's our answer. So hopefully you saw in that case, you know, it's really not as bad as it looks. When you see it written in the formula, it seems kind of like a nightmare, but it's really not that bad. So let's talk about, um, well, the next one we're going to talk about is, I think we're going to do um, the difference of functions next. So we're going to be subtracting them. And I think what I'm going to do is make a separate video for that. So why don't we do one more example on the addition of f of x plus g of x. So let's do one that's maybe a little harder. Let's do, I don't know, f of x equals x squared over x plus 1 and g of x equals 6 over x minus 3. Something like that. And I want to find s plus g of x. And so all that is is f of x plus g of x. So x squared over x plus 1 plus 6 over x minus 3. Now we're at a problem, right? We need to add these two together. They're fractions. So I'm going to do a video on adding fractions. If you're not very comfortable with it, you can check that out. But I'll just go through it really quickly here. So all I'm going to do is look at the denominator on this one, the denominator on this one. They're not the same, so how do I make them the same? I'm going to multiply the stuff in brackets here by x minus 3 over x minus 3, the denominator on this one, and everything in here I'm going to multiply by x plus 1 over x plus 1, which was the denominator on this guy right here. So what I've got now is x squared x minus 3 plus 6x plus 1 over on the bottom 
you're just going to multiply the two different denominators together, x plus 1, x minus 3. So let's simplify that down a little bit. So on the top, we've got x squared times x would be x cubed, x squared minus 3, negative 3x, plus 6x, plus 6 times 1 is just 6. Over on the bottom, we're going to need to FOIL this. So we'll go x times x is x squared, x times negative 3 is negative 3x, positive 1 times x would just be positive x, and positive 1 times negative 3 would be negative 3. So, let's simplify that. We've got on the top x cubed, we've got negative 3x plus 6x. Those are like terms, they're both x to the power of 1. So negative 3 plus 6 would just be positive 3x plus 6. And do the same thing on the bottom, we've got x squared, then we've got negative 3x plus x, negative 3 plus 1 would just be negative 2x minus 3. And is there anything magical we can do to that? I mean, you can keep, I don't know if it really gets any simpler than that, so I think we're going to call that one finished. So if you have any questions, you can always leave them into the, in the comments section. You can ask them on my website. And um, the next video, we're going to do the difference of functions. And then we're going to do product, which is multiplying, and quotient, which is dividing two of them. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.